Good morning, beautiful people. I have been up and rolling for hours. Yeah, I'm smoking a cigarette right now. I need it. I need to calm down. Well, it's not so much calming down, it's de-stressing. Hmm. There's a difference. But I want to wish everybody a happy Juneteenth today. Now, my state was the first state to pass Juneteenth as a holiday. We look at it as a holiday. And then 46 more states followed shortly after that. But my state was the first one. So, I just want to wish everybody a happy Juneteenth. And let's celebrate it. Let's show that we can celebrate it and talk about it and just be as one right now. So, what else is everybody going to do today? You know what I'm doing. Now, yesterday, of course, I didn't work. You already know that. Took my husband for his biopsies, and guess what? He's good. He is good. There is nothing wrong with the biopsies that they did. I am so thankful for it. Very, very, very thankful for it. But then he had to turn around and do these biopsies. I think he was a little worried, stressed. Uh, uh, yeah, a little bit. But I knew everything was going to be okay. But it stressed me out too. In the meantime, I'm sitting there on pins and needles going, Is he okay? Is he okay? Is he okay? He's okay, people. He is 100% fine. There was nothing wrong with his esophagus or his colon. He had no polyps. Nothing. Nothing. He was good to go. And his gastrologist told him, I'll see you in the next 10 years. So he's good to go, people. Which I'm very, very happy about. Very happy about. Nobody should be having to go through these kind of stresses and worries and just being a worry ward alone. So, but yesterday, oh my goodness, we got home. I don't even remember the time. But then I had an allergy headache. I can tell migraine different from an allergy headache. I had an allergy headache from hell. Oh my god, it was bad. Ugh. I took two Benadryls and knocked it out. And which I'm thankful for it because that was horrible. And I couldn't stand it no more. So I finally broke down and took two Benadryl. And they make me sleepy. I think when I went off to bed last night that Slept in the same position all night long. I don't think I moved not once. Not once. At all. So. But due to the Benadryl and everything. It upset my stomach. Because I'm not used to taking Benadryls. Allegra, Zyrtec, Claritin. Mucinex. Only when it's prescribed to me. And that's a killer. Getting that Claritin D, which did not work for me this time. Probably because I didn't take it in with the Mucinex D also. And I probably should have, but I didn't. Not this time. I don't like taking medication for anything, but yesterday I had to. And it knocked out my sinus headache, in which I am so thankful for. I took my brother. Let me get a hit up off this cigarette. I took my twin up there to uh, Walmart last night. And because my head was hurting me so, 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 so bad from allergy headache. And I had ran out of the Excedrin migraine anyways. And I told my brother, I said, man, I'm starting to feel sick to my stomach because my head was hurting so bad. 
But like I said, I can tell the difference between allergy headache and a migraine. So yesterday was definitely an allergy headache. But I told him, since I'm out of Excedrin migraine, I said, do you mind getting me a bottle of that? I have to pay him back um, when I get paid. And But um, I got my Excedrin migraine. That's a must. I have to have it. There is, I can't deal without it. I have to have it. Because I'm not going on this medication that the pharmacies are pharmaceutical companies are putting out. I'm just, I'm not going to. And, like I said, I've had migraines since I was a kid. I get up over them. I take, if I can catch it in time, I'll take two Excedrins if I catch it in time. And 95% of the time I can. But those other times, mm -mm, no, no, no. I'm down for the count, and I'm not even trying to go there, because, like I said, I have to earn a paycheck. I have to work. But a lot of people don't, you know. And bless their heart, you know, and not being able to work. And I keep those people up in my prayers. I really do. Been there, done that. You know, not able to work at the moment. Raising kids, you know. I think it's a little hard trying to do the family thing and raising kids and having a job and all that other stuff. I just, I can't do it. So, I know it's like, I ain't trying to put anybody down and shame them for not working. I've been there. I've been there. I have absolutely been there. And I know what it's like. So... But I ain't watching too much. I'll watch a few things up on YouTube. Not too much. Like I said, I ain't trying to do too much. Today. Not today. Any other day up out of the week, I probably would. But not today. I'm gonna relax. I really am. Today is my day to relax. I should have relaxed yesterday, but I didn't. I didn't do it. And I should have. Too busy running around doing things. Too busy doing this, doing that. Mm. I'll take it easy today once I get off at work. Alright, people. Y'all come back now, you hear?